What's happening? Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Trey Gang Team? Real fast, I hopped in here to give you guys my IML story. Now, let me just go over a couple things before I tell it to you guys, let you know what's happening. Um, Okay, so. About a year ago, a little over a year ago, in my um, first in my process of learning the trade, I had a friend of mine, um, somebody from... Another set of business where I used to shoot music videos. Uh, I was coming to do an interview and uh, I ran into her and me and her became cool. And she's a really good friend, um, really sweet girl. She uh, she got pretty popular. She's, she's, she's well known. She's well known. She got about 100 followers on Instagram. Now, the reason I'm not saying her name is because I didn't ask her permission to tell the story. And I don't want her to catch any kind of like trolling or backlash of any kind in case this video happens to go somewhere or somebody decides to take it upon themselves to mess with her, right? So I don't want her to have issues because I said her name in this video and I didn't really ask her. But I'm going to um, show you guys like, you know, the video conference that I was in and everything. And um, pretty much what happened was um, I follow on Instagram and she follows me or whatever. And I saw one day out of the clear blue, she posted a bunch of trades on Bitcoin. And um, I was very baffled because in all the years that I knew her, I never knew her to be a trader. So when she posts on her Instagram, she's usually posting, uh, she's, she posts entrepreneurial stuff, her buying a bunch of property, but she mainly does movies now. She does acting. So she's been doing a lot of like web series on YouTube and she started like breaking into like real acting, but I never knew her to be a trader. I'm like, well, I know she's a musician. She does music. And she's transitioning into acting. Very popular, like I said. Um, but then one day I see her posted this Bitcoin trade. And now I'm going to get into my <laughs> IML story. Okay. But uh, let's just talk about it. So she posted this um, this trade that she took. Which I ain't going to lie. I just went on Instagram to go uh, see if I could take a screenshot of the post. I got the picture. But I don't have the screenshot of the post because she took it down. Ironically. And I'm going to get into this about, like, why this euphoric stuff is... You got to be careful out here. Um, okay, so she posted it, and I immediately jumped in the DMs. I don't DM people, especially women. Um, you know, I seldomly would DM anybody. Like, just before scams and all, I just don't like DMing people. If I don't know you personally, definitely not going to DM you. But uh, I knew her, so I jumped in the DM, and... um. I know, you know, I, even, I was about to say something inappropriate, but it's, it's, let me not say that. Anyway, I jumped in the DM and asked, I said, yo, you trade? Because it was, it was nice to see that somebody trades like me from the field that we come from. People don't really trade. And if they do, they don't talk about it for some reason. They don't tell other people about it. And um, I was like, yo, you trade? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, how long you been trading? I just started. I'm like, wait a minute. You just posted $11,000 in profit on a bunch of trades. You just started trading and you made 11 G's? Come on, son. Come on, son. So anyway, she posted it. So I asked her and she immediately, here comes the recruiting part. She immediately says, hey, are you interested? I'm like, oh, Lord. I'm, and I, mind you, I have been trading over a year at this time already. Well over a year. I was going into my second year at this time, as a matter of fact. So I'm going into my third year now. So I'm like... I don't know about that because when you know how to trade certain things that people say to trade, it's going to trigger the red flag for you. If, cause there's a lot of people that are full of crap in the trading community, you know, uh, the people that do trade, a lot of people that I know that trade, 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 you're not gonna really know about them like that. They're not going to like put it out there that much unless they have a business to run or they have a channel like this or something. They didn't, they're not going to just put it out there that they trade like that. I know people that trade and they make serious money and they don't post nothing. So anyway, um, so she's like, are you interested? I, I said, you know, and me being polite, I said, yeah, 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 I'm interested. Let me know what's up. Why? What's up? What do you got? So she says to me, 
oh, I got this for you. Check it out. So I'm like looking at it, and apparently it's an IML kind of uh, thing. And um, I'm like looking at it, and I start laughing. I'm like, oh, I heard about this. I heard about this. So um, I'm like, yeah, what is this? So I'm playing dumb a little bit just to see what she's going to say, see how insightful she is, how informative she is. A little dishonest on my end, but it's just to see – if she's gonna like give tell me something out good about this, cause I only heard about these things, I don't know about them, so I want to see if she's gonna tell me that oh the things you hear about it are not true, yada yada yada. I'm waiting to hear what she's gonna say from an honest perspective by me p pretending I never heard of it before. She, at this point, she doesn't even know that I trade. So on my Instagram, I don't post anything about trading on there, so people don't know. If you follow my regular Instagram account, you don't know that I even trade. People who know me personally know about it. People who follow me on social media don't. They know me for the music videos or web design or graphic design or something like that. One of those businesses, right? Anyway, so she's like, yeah, I'll send you the link. They usually have these conference calls. So I'm like, really? They have these conference calls. And why why you see the video, my video is pushed to the side is because I'm about to play some of the video from the conference call for you guys so you can actually see I really was in this call and everything. So they, I'm not just saying this because people, I think, make these videos to get views, honestly. You need to kind of like really even see if these people are telling the truth about these stories they tell you on the internet because people be just making up stuff. <laughs> it's crazy out here. Anyway, um, so I was like, hmm, okay. So I purposely missed the first invitation. Now, me missing it, I had already spoke to her. I kind of already got it in the back of my head that she's not trading, someone's trading for her, that kind of thing. So I just kind of went on about my life. So she actually hit me up and says, hey, did you check out the uh, call? Uh, nah, I was, I was busy that night. Would you like to see it again? Now, I'm being nice at this point. I say, yeah, yeah, okay. So she sends me another link. This time she tells me it's going to be at a certain time, the time that I said I would normally be available. So now she kind of gave me no reason. There was no way to really dodge this one. So I said, all right, you know what? I'll take my time. And now I'm going to show it on the screen um, on the side of me, as you can see right there. I said, I really have no way to kind of dodge this. So I go, I said, let me check it out. Because at this time now, I had made my website. I had my services starting to pop up. I had some indicators for sale, things like that. So I said, okay, let me see what the marketing is on this side. And so I know not to do what they do because this stuff is considered scammy to a lot of people and I want to be legit. So I said, let me see what to not do. So I went into this conference call, as you see right here on the left side. And um, I'm sorry, there's no sound. I didn't know that when I recorded it, it wasn't going to have sound. And I don't really want to show too much of this video because at the end of the day, um, you know, it's kind of like, I feel like it's kind of weird for me to actually post this. So I'm not going to show too much of this video. I'm just going to show like little pieces to prove that I was in it, as you can see right there. So I'm going to tell you what happened. So I went into the conference call. If you want to know this video that I recorded, it was about roughly an hour, a little over an hour. And then there's another one that was about 20 minutes. I sat there for about two hours total listening to these people. The thing that concerned me the most about this was when I got into this group, they talk primarily about recruiting people and getting people to join so that you don't have to pay and so that you can make money to live this lifestyle. Now, all the things you hear about IML, it's true. Now, this group is a particularly different name group. Okay, a, screen, a message came up on the screen. Okay, so this group is a particularly different name group, and um, <clears throat> I'm asking about it later, and I'm finding out that these were IML people that started their own group, and they still deal with IML, but they got this group, that group, this group, that group. They got all these different groups, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm confused. So she sends me a link to this. I watch it. I come out of it. Now, let's talk about what I saw for the past hour that I was here. They talk about the membership, they talk about the payments, how to recruit people, they talk about the lifestyle of traders who made it. The last thing that they talked about was actually trading. And when they got to the trading part, there was a lady, I don't want to say the name, I don't even want to show that part because that's going to be, um, I don't want to get no kind of pro trouble from no one for slander or anything. But the bottom line is you see from this video, matter of fact, let me take the video down real quick while I'm talking. You see from the video that I was there, okay? Uh, 
like I said, she started trading. She took a trade as she was demonstrating. It was very brief. She took a trade and immediately in that first trade, she started losing very bad. The trade was definitely um, against the trend. It was in the wrong position. I know a lot of these marketers, when they trade, I noticed that they go for a scalp trade. What they do for their strategy is they usually wait for that pullback. And they think they're very smart by taking that pullback when you counter trend trading. So you have to scalp at that point if you know anything about trading. But they counter trend trade and then they usually end up losing. But she did it live. Like if you do that live, there's a good chance you're going to lose and have to get out of the position. So of course she took the trade. It was a, a scalp. It furiously went against her. She lost the trade. She laughed it off, took another trade, and the same exact thing happened again. So she lost two trades immediately within like five minutes. It was really ridiculous how she took the positions and just got steamrolled. So she took the trade, showed her she couldn't trade, obviously. And then she she quickly, quickly, quickly switched to something else on the uh or, or, or on the chart. And like it was real brief the amount of time they spent on a MT4 chart. I was scratching my head because it was so fast. It was like they might as well not even done it. So they spent an hour pretty much presenting to you the lifestyle of a successful quote-unquote forex trader and how you can be successful as them without even knowing how to trade because you can recruit in the meantime. Now, if you recruit, your payment gets uh, pretty much uh, it gets credited. And if you recruit even more, you get paid for it. And if you crude even more, you become a special member in their their pyramid. I don't want to say pyramid scheme because I don't want to be like crazy with it. But you pretty much get uh, moved up the tear in their pyramid. And then at that point, it becomes a thing where it becomes a thing where you're a, a value member of the group because you're bringing people in. Now, this is what I think my friend was. She had to be one of those people that because she had 100,000 followers, she had 95,000 followers at the time of me recording this. That's a lot of followers because if you think about it, marketers try to go for 10% of your following. So if you take 10% of 100,000, that's 1,000 people. You know, that's matter of fact, I'm wrong. 10% of 100,000 is 10,000. What the hell's wrong with me? So think about that. Imagine if you could pull 10,000 of your followers into a program. That's a lot of money. You could potentially become rich off that. Not wealthy, but rich. So anyway... So I saw her post that and I know she didn't know how to trade. So I went back to her after I had finished this conference call and I had to like ask her some more questions. So she asked me, what did I think about it? I was nice about it saying, yeah, it was cool. I thought it was bull crap, but I said, oh, it was cool. So I'm like, so what's up? What do you do? She's like, oh, well, you know, you could use my link and sign up. Now here's the funny part. When I used her link, I just wanted to click it and see how this membership process was set up because I have a website. So I wanted to see how they do their process. So at this point, I'm just researching for business purposes and I'm just checking out how everything works. I have no intention of signing up. I go to the link to sign up and then it takes me to some other group. And I'm like, okay, what happened to the group that I was trying to sign up with? That group is no longer there. Some drama occurred with the teammates and they went from that group to this group. So I'm like, okay, so give me the link. I go to that link. Now at this point, there's like three different groups to choose from. And I'm like, what happened to the IML? Oh no, it's all IML. It's just, we went off here and this person went there and that person went there. And I'm like, well, IML have their own sign up. Yeah, you could go there. You could come here. It don't matter. I'm like, so that gave me like a scan vibe because it's like, why is there so many different places to sign up? The one that I originally went to do is already gone. So I'm like, what happens if I sign up here and y'all close up? Guess what? The link that they sent me that time to sign up is no longer there now either. I went, I had to hunt these people down. So I'm like, okay, what happens if you sign up and that happens to you? You have to start all over? And what happens if you're in the process of trading? If you're learning how to trade and that is happening, that's going to mess up your trading process because you're going to um, have to start over. You're going to lose all the progress you made or some of it because now you got to learn something different. The thing about trading that people don't really get is the people that are learning and the, the people who fail is you fail because you got to stick to it. You got to like find that thing and stick to that thing. And if it don't work, you know why. So you know how to correct it. You kind of got to fail in this in order to learn how to win. That's how trading works. You got to fail in order to win. You can't just come in this winning, 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 winning. That means when it starts failing, you're going to be ready to kill yourself. So you have to fail in trading and to win. So you don't really want it to be a thing where you, you can't even fail yet. The person is already gone or you, you can't find them to fail and learn to correct your mistakes and come up with your own strategy. That's why I don't really teach strategy too much because... 
I learned that what I, what's working for me may not work for you. You may try what I'm doing and just blow accounts. You may, it may, you may think I'm not trading right because it's not working for you, but it's working for me. So I learned that trading is about you finding your own thing that works for you. So people try to teach you strategy to create content, but it's not about that. So anyway, I'm getting off track with that. Every time I went and found links and I would check back, all the links would be changed, gone. People would be moved around. People, quote unquote, got promoted to different positions. Translation started their own pyramid. And um, you're just sitting there not really doing anything but getting caught up in chaos. So the IML situation, look, if you want to learn how to trade, that's just not it for you. If you want to learn how to market, what I do realize is a lot of people who you see on YouTube in different places, their YouTube channels are successful because you learn how to market a lot from them. So if you spend time around them, they'll promote you uh, being popular so you can recruit your subscribers. So you learn marketing from them. You just, you learn great marketing tactics. You learn great marketing skills, but you don't learn anything about trading and forget about even trying to be consistent and profitable with trading. It just ain't going to happen. So just to warn you guys about these, these groups, if you want to learn how to trade, you better off getting a mentor. Do not, and I repeat, do not even entertain thinking you're going to learn how to trade from one of these groups because they do have good trading groups out there. But the ones that present themselves as these uh, recruiting groups, those those groups more focus on that because that's the money that keeps that business running, that keeps the people that are uh, running the pyramid. I hate to use that word, but I have no other real word to use for this because that's what it really is. It's literally a person at the top and everyone down under them and it forms this pyramid. But in order to keep those people at the top of the pyramid up, they have to have that recruiting process. So they really focus on that more than anything. So... Uh, Learning to trade from IML versus trading, is, it just doesn't go hand in hand. You're not going to learn that from there. You're going to learn how to market. You're going to learn how to recruit. And you're going to learn that there's a possibility that you'll learn some trading down the line. Now, there are people in some of these groups that I've seen that they have their own little side thing where they do teach people how to trade. But in her case, my friend, what they did is they gave her signals. They were giving her signals on trading to let her get the profit and post it so other people would come in under the premise of they'll also get these signals and once again i already tell you about the signals there's no shortcuts to trading so don't even think that paying in a paying a group to give you signals is going to work because what will happen is they'll start blowing people's accounts giving out bad signals because they're under the pressure to keep cranking out the signals and what will happen is once that becomes like a bad reputation they'll just close that pyramid down and start a new one and that's what they do and i noticed that i'm like that's crazy that's that's really crazy so for anyone learning to trade, because my channel is for new traders and people that have just started to trade like me, I still consider myself a new trader even though I'm about to be on three years of trading now at this point, which is crazy for me to even say. But um, the journey of it, the journey is like there's a lot of time that you waste learning this stuff. And I'm trying to save you guys that trouble, that money you're going to waste because you're going to get burnt a couple times. The thing about Forex is you're going to get burned in order to learn how to not consistently get burnt. <laughs> But you'll consistently get burned in the process of learning how to not get burned consistently. <laughs> and that's literally the science behind this. And a lot of people just get burned, man. But if you were getting warned, you could probably avoid some of the burn. You can't avoid all of it. It's just part of it. But you can avoid some of it by having these videos to warn you. So, you know, I'll put the, the video up on the side again. This group right here is not even here anymore. They got like a new group now. If you go there now, if you look this up. They're a whole different group of people from the time that I was in this conference. This was over a year ago that I did this. This is when I was just checking stuff out. At this point, I had no faith in people really teaching me how to trade. I had already knew how to do my own trade. Uh, you know, I was trading live accounts and stuff. So I said, ah, at this point, I really wasn't even trying to learn no new strategies. Because when you start soaking in other people's trading, it'll mess with yours. So you kind of got to protect your trading strategies by not looking at too much of the stuff. But it was nothing to worry about because they did not talk about trading at all. Okay? So, be careful. Because if you got a friend that's popular and all of a sudden they start posting Forex trades, be careful. Because to this day, she does not talk about trading no more. I guess the bag ran out. They stopped paying her or whatever. They stopped giving her signals. I know the group she was in is gone. Uh, the, there's like five groups removed from the time that she joined to now. She probably can't keep up. I hit up... Uh, a couple months ago to say, hey, what happened? I did it just to troll. I said, hey, what happened to that group? 
she sells me um oh they're still around i said nah the links you gave me all those links are dead so she says oh i'll get the new ones she never got back to me so i guess that's when she realized something was wrong and she took all her stuff down she only had one post on her instagram about it but she took it down after that i guess that was my way of warning her um i, I hate that that's that message pops up that was my way of warning her not to uh do that you know what i mean so I don't know what to tell you guys, man. So if you're thinking about joining IML or any of those things, don't even waste your time. There's a lot of people that think it's cool. They make it seem like real casual. It is extremely casual to the point where you won't learn anything. If you're learning how to make a YouTube channel about Forex, that might be the place to be. But if you're trying to learn how to uh, trade, that ain't the place. I stayed away from all that uh, that job turkey crap that I was seeing. Anything that looked a little too flashy. They keep talking about jets and Lamborghinis. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't care about none of that. Once I learn how to trade, I can get my own jets and Lamborghinis. I don't need to see a dude in a jet and Lamborghini to motivate me to make money. I just need to make money, okay? So I don't need to see that to be motivated. And a lot of y'all probably feel the same way. But I do see how they get people. But the only thing you could do is kind of just warn y'all. So hopefully y'all come across these type of videos first before they get you. Because you'll just waste money. And that's a good amount of money you waste. They, I think they ask for like $95 a month. Some of them I ran into in the same group of people were asking for $250 a month. I said, yo, $250 a month? They claim they got this, this indicator that's going to make you rich. And of course, there's no purpose in even worrying about that. Because guess what? You got to learn how to use the indicator. You can't just think the indicator is going to make you a successful trader because it's not. You got to learn how to use that too. You got to be instructed on how to use it. Now, they will, have, they do have groups that teach, teach you how to use the indicator, but guess what? By the time you figure all of that out, you don't got cooked. You know what I mean? There's an indicator that they use. It's, it's a nice indicator. It teaches you patterns. But if you're going to rely on it to get entries, you're going to lose. You're going to always miss the entry because it's a repainting indicator. And by the time it makes the pattern that you're looking for, it had already happened. So you're getting in at the back of the move, end of the move. You're losing the trade, wondering why you think the indicator don't work when the indicator is actually doing what it's supposed to do. But you're just not using it right. And they're not telling you that. So you'll see somebody that knows what they're doing. They may take a trade, let the indicator repaint and then come. Hey, I got 100 pips on this trade. How'd you do that? Oh, the indicator. No, they ended way before the indicator even alerted them of that. <laughs> so you got to be careful with these games that people play. And we make indicators, we sell indicators. So I'm telling you, I know this. I'm going to be very honest. If I see somebody getting ready to purchase something, not just from us, just in general, that doesn't look like they're ready for it or don't know how to use it, I'll actually tell them, no, 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 no. Don't get that because it's going to mess your account up. And I just flat out say that to them because they're like, wow, mess my account up. Yeah, you're going to lose all your money. That scares them away when they hear they're going to lose their money. But it's not really that you're going to lose your money. It's because you don't know how to use indicator yet. Don't jump into certain things if you're not ready for it. Because you have to learn by losing. So if I can mitigate the losses for you, I'm going to. I don't want to make a couple dollars off you and then you start losing everything. And then you say it's because of me. And next thing you're running around you're putting a bad reputation on my business. So I'd rather you just not even have it. Because that's the thing. Yeah, you could be greedy and burn somebody. Just like these groups do. Guess what? Every couple months, you're going to keep changing your site, changing your this and changing that and changing this and changing that. That ain't cool. I'm not here for that. So for the people that really want to learn how to trade, <laughs> you won't learn it from these these groups. You won't. These IML groups, you won't learn it from them. And if you see a group with a different name, do your research because usually what's happening with a lot of these groups they're leaving that group and starting their own group, but that group is still connected to them. That's why a part of that money even kicks back to them. They even got it set up where, hey, you're going to go over here based off the resources we gave you, but we're going to kick some profit back to you because we're using your foundation for this group. It's really the same group. It's one big, big group, and it got like little divisions under that group. So be careful with these groups, man, because they're going to waste your time. You're going to waste money when you could just pay a person that's mentoring you on how to trade. If you know nothing about trading, Getting a mentor is fine. Learning on your own is better. You can learn off YouTube. Just be careful with those strategies, though. But anyway, this video is very long. I wanted to just give you guys my um IML story. Hopefully, this was helpful to you guys. And uh, that's it, man. That's it. That's all I can tell you. I'm out of here. There's no real outro for the video because I didn't make one. But I felt like just putting this video out here to help you guys out because... <laughs> This this video I recorded this a long time ago. To, and what's crazy is just real fast. This is, before I close, I want to tell you, I recorded this video 
with the indication that I was going to use, I was going to go back to the trading and use it as like a lesson planner. Like I was going to uh, go over the trading advice. They never gave none. There was not one ounce in that hour and a half that I was there, two hours. It was a little under two hours. They never gave any informative information. And they do that every week. They do that twice a week to my understanding and recruit people. They never gave one ounce of good trading information. I was like, this is scary. This is scary. Because they had people in that group. There was a lot of people in that seminar. And I'm just sitting there scratching my head because I'm like, yo, well, all these people sign up. And don't learn anything. There's, that's going to be people that will say trading is a scam. If you go on YouTube right now and type in IML. And look. And no offense. But let's just call it what it is. Look at the people that are saying is, Forex is a scam. Every one of them has some kind of IML story. And let's be honest. They look super fucking casual. Forex was never for those people. These are people that just thought they could make a couple dollars. And if you come into this with that mindset. You already know you're getting cooked. You would come in this with the hey let me learn a skill mindset. You'll make it. But if you come into this thing and, oh, I want a Lamborghini, oh, boy, you're going to get cooked. And they know that, and they feed off of those people. They got, I saw one chick, I was looking at her like, yo, this is, you need to read a couple more books, get a little education. You definitely ain't going to come into this market and make it thinking that you're going to blow up, and that's your mindset. Your mindset is all wrong. So just keep in mind, man. If you're serious about trading, just know that this is not for you. This is for those other people. That 90% that you hear about, that 94, that 95, the 97% that fail at trading, it's because of these groups, and that's where those people are. <laughs> All right? So hopefully this video was uh, informative or enjoyable in some kind of way. I'm out of here, man. Have a good weekend. Have a good day. Have a good night. Peace.